Allah wa ta'ala speaks about the first house that was constructed for the worship of himself. Allah says, Inna awwala baytin wudi'a linnas, lalladhi bi bakkata, mubaraka wa hudal linnas. That the first house to be constructed for the worship of Allah was the Kaaba, was that house which is in Bakka. We call it Makka, that's the name, but it also was referred to as Bakka because it was able to fight back itself without its residents playing a role itself. Makkah Mukarrama was able to fight back any enemies. So we've all heard the story of Abraha in Surat Fil, the elephant. When Abraha came and marched to demolish the Kaaba, all the people were scared and they left this for Allah to protect, the Kaaba and Makkah for Allah to protect. And they went up into the hills. Allah wa ta'ala, He protected the Kaaba. He sent Qayr and Ababil, that such small, small birds in their beaks were small, tiny pebbles. And they were what you might refer to as chemical weapons. That they were dropped, and soon as they used to fall on someone's body, then that, that part of the skin used to all slowly burn away. And that's how they all died. So Allah protected. The people of Makkah did not do anything. So this is why one of the names that was that that Mecca was referred to was Bakka, and this is referred to in the Quran Karim. Lalladhi bi Bakkata, the house which is in Bakka. Now, why do we call the Kaaba Kaaba? Because Kaab means slightly raised from the level of whatever it's on. So, <coughs> for example, our uncle we call this Kaab. Why? Because we have one level of the feet going down and then it's slightly raised outwards that's why it's called Kaab. in the same way the land there was level and then on on that land there was a slightly raised piece of rock and that was to identify that this is the location of the Kaaba location of the Kaaba Ka Kaaba and the area around is the Mataf so you have the Kaaba the area around is the Mataf that's where we do Tawaf now Kaaba is in the in the, in a valley and on both sides are hills and mountains people who have been will know whenever it rains then Kaaba the Mataf it it gets flooded there were even times where people did Tawaf swimming because there was they were not able to walk they did Tawaf swimming and people enjoy that moment I remember once when I was there I was in the Mataf nice bright sunshine and then dark clouds came and i thought now everybody is going to leave tawaf and go inside the building but soon as it started to rain and pour down people started to come out into the mataf the mataf, mataf was full of people and it's a it's an enjoyment in itself to be doing tawaf performing tawaf when there's heavy rainfall within a matter of minutes that cloud disappeared the sun came out again and you couldn't tell you wouldn't be able to tell that it was actually raining here. So Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala gave this house for our worship and to unite us all as well. Why? Because we all face towards this Kaaba in Salat. This is to unite the Muslims. That one Muslim is not facing that direction, another one this direction, but they stand shoulder to shoulder and they face one direction. Just like we are facing one direction when we are united in this, in the same way our hearts are united, we do not separate into and split into groups.